G'day race fans, a little while ago I released this video and inadvertently started World War 3. Details next. This is the pulley set that I ordered and did indeed fit to the car and the main point of contention seems to be with the large pulley on the left. This replaced the OEM crank pulley and uh, People seem to think that by removing that OEM pulley and replacing it this one that I'm going to cause the engine some damage. Now I'm going to explain to you now why that is not the case. What you're looking at here is the pulley engine crank pulley that was removed from my engine and it is a high grade or high standard pulley. It's made by NOK which are an industry leader in crank pulleys and oil seals and things of that nature. But it is a crank pulley. What it's not is a harmonic balancer. So why does that matter? Well it matters because if it was a harmonic balancer and you did remove it then you would absolutely be putting your engine in harm's way. And the reason for that is, is the harmonic balancer is an integral part of the system used to dampen torsional vibrations within an engine. Now torsional vibrations are caused as a result of the combustion process. They are however not an imbalance in the rotating assembly. So harmonic balances are actually poorly named because they play no role in the physical balancing of the engine. However, they are an integral part of dampening oscillations or vibrations caused by the combustion process. Now, this is the key point. The single largest influence on whether an engine suffers from torsional vibration is the length of the crankshaft. Now, boxer engines by their design, and the FA20 in particular, have a very small length, or very short, I should say, crankshaft, and as a result, do not suffer from torsional vibrations to any extent certainly not to the extent where they require the use of a harmonic balancer. Okay, so there is not a harmonic balancer fitted to my FA20. There is, however, a crank pulley. So what's the difference and how do you tell? These next three images are images of a harmonic balancer. Now, if you put those images beside the images of the pulley, it can be quite difficult to tell the difference between the two if you don't know what you're looking at. Now, one of the easiest ways of telling, and it's not foolproof, but it's accurate most of the time, is that a harmonic balancer will have threaded holes somewhere near the hub in order to fit a harmonic balancer puller, whereas a pulley will not. Now, the reason for that is, is before a harmonic balancer to be effective, it must be an interference fit with the free end of the crankshaft so that those torsional vibrations can transfer uh, effectively and easily and in their entirety into the harmonic balancer itself. Now that's not a requirement with a pulley. So basically if you can remove the crank pin retaining bolt or crank pulley retaining bolt and pull the, the pulley off by hand without the use of a harmonic balancer pulley then it is a pulley and not a harmonic balancer. Okay, well I hope it clears all that up. Now in this next slide, this is just a, a, an image of a harmonic balancer puller and how it relates to the holes drilled or the threaded holes that are drilled into most balancers. You'll notice it can pull either a three hole or a two hole balancer off the free end of the crankshaft. So, well I hope that uh, clears up some of the confusion. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, oh well. And uh, if you'd like in more videos and to be notified, please uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.